Hi, everybody. My name is Rose. I'm with Berkshire Environmental Action Team, and I'll be talking to you tonight about energy efficiency opportunities in Massachusetts, and specifically the Mass Save program. Let me share my screen here. There we go. Hopefully you can see that well. Um, the Mass Save Municipal Partnership is a pilot program that's been put in place this year. Um, only seven out of all the applicants, uh, cities that applied for this program, uh, got to participate. Uh, we at BEAT helped the city of Pittsfield apply, and sure enough, we got a slot. So what we're doing is helping people in Pittsfield know about the opportunities presented by the Mass Save program. And even though I'm talking about Pittsfield, these are available to people across the state. So this information is good, even if you're watching from outside of the Pittsfield area. Um, why does energy efficiency matter? Um, aside from any climate concerns, it saves you money by reducing your utility bills. The less energy you use, the lower your bills are going to be. It also makes your home or business more comfortable, uh, stops drafts when it's cold, um, helps keep it cool in the summer, and it can also help you prep your building for switching to clean energy solutions like um, heat pumps or solar or geothermal systems. The more efficient your house is before you have that kind of work done, the smaller those new systems would need to be. So if you're planning on making a switch to one of those clean energy solutions, Mass Save is a great way to start out and make sure you're getting as efficient as you can. The less energy demand you have, the smaller the, the system's going to be. And why does BEAT care about energy efficiency? Um, most people know Berkshire Environmental Action Team as uh, guarding wildlife in the area and making sure that uh, waterways are clean and safe. But uh, for the past six years, we've also been working against um, increases in fossil fuel infrastructure. Um, we came about with the no frack gas and mass program when there were several large ca uh, gas transmission lines being proposed through the area. And uh, when we would go around talking to towns, we would tell people, you know, sign up for Mass Save. It's a way to decrease demand for infrastructure like this. And we realized that not everyone knew about it and not everyone um, quite knew how to tackle it. And those were of the people who were there and concerned about the environment. We realized there's probably a wider audience that doesn't even think much about this yet, who doesn't even know about it. So in 2019, we started up an initiative called EE Pittsfield, that's for Energy Efficiency Pittsfield. And we have a website at eepittsfield.org. And uh, last year we went door to door. Uh, we went through Morningside and Westside neighborhoods and a couple other streets in between and, um, and just knocked on doors and said, do you know about Mass Save? Do you know about the incentives that are available? And uh, we found that about 70% of folks didn't know. Uh, but once they knew about it, they became pretty enthusiastic about wanting to take advantage of these incentives that are available. So who can participate in Mass Save? Uh, one of the um, assumptions is that you have to own your home and you don't. Um, you can be a homeowner, but you can also be a renter. Uh, you can also be a landlord and take advantage of this for any of your one to four unit buildings. So if you rent in a building that has up to four units, or if you're a landlord that owns several four unit buildings, uh, you can take advantage of the residential program that I'll be talking about tonight. Um, if you have buildings with more than five units, you want to check out the Mass Save multifamily program. And we have a link to that on the EE Pittsfield site if you need to find that. And uh, right now there's a special offer that's been extended for moderate income customers. That's anyone who makes up to 80% of median income. Uh, the, if you qualify for insulation work, it can be 100% off. Uh, there's also a small business program and that's any business that's owned or uh, rented space that's using less than 40,000 therms of gas or 1.5 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year. And even though it's called the Small Business Program, houses of worship, um, small municipal buildings or nonprofit offices can also take advantage of this program. 
the incentives for residents are broken down into three categories, and I've outlined two of them here. Uh, one is the income eligible program. Uh, that's if you make 60% or less of uh, median income. Then you qualify for things like fuel assistance and LIHEAP and other, um, other benefit programs through the CAP agency. And in Berkshire County, that's Berkshire County, um, Berkshire Community Action Council or BCAC. And uh, their website is here, it's bcacinc.org. And if you look at the chart, if you're a single uh, person household making $39,105 or less, then you qualify. And what the income eligible program does is provides more no cost incentives uh, for mass save than other um, levels. So you can see the chart here. If you're a two, fam two person uh, household, uh, your income be can be 51,137 or less. Um, and you get the idea for, you know, if you have more people in your household. Um, the next one up is the enhanced residential program. And that's for folks that are making between 60 and 80% of median income. So again, following that chart, if you're a household of three people, you can make anywhere between uh, 63,170 to 84,225 and qualify for um, special incentives through Mass Save. Uh, you just don't need to go through the CAP agency at that point. Uh, the third category are people who make more than the enhanced residential program limits, and that's market rate. Um, there are fewer incentives, but there still are some substantial incentives um, through the Mass Safe program that aren't available if you just go ahead and pay out of pocket. So it's worth checking into Mass Save regardless of your income level. Just be aware that if you're in the green category here, the enhanced residential program, uh, there are extra incentives. And if you uh, fall into the income eligible program, there are quite a few of um, no cost incentives that you can take advantage of by going through Berkshire Community Action Council. Uh, there are three categories of res residential incentives available. Uh, one is the energy savings kit. Um, it's a no cost kit that you uh, can qualify for once you actually complete an online home energy assessment. We'll be talking about that in a little bit. Uh, but you get free LED light bulbs, which are much more efficient than compact fluorescence or the old incandescent uh, light bulbs. They're smart power strips. They're power strips that you can plug into and uh, switch off um, items that are normally on standby. Uh, it helps save energy that way. Uh, there's thermostats. Uh, that's something that I actually uh, took advantage of last year when I had an assessment. I thought my furnace was broken. Turns out it was just the thermostat and I had that replaced for free through the, uh, the Mass Save program. And then there's shower heads, uh, low flow shower heads and faucet aerators that help you save um, water. And when you save water, you save on your water heating bill. So these are great items that get sent directly to your home. You can install them yourself and it's all at no cost. Uh, the weatherization category includes air sealing. So that's things like putting in gaskets around your doors or um, targeted caulking wherever there are drafts coming through. Uh, that's a no cost incentive. And insulation, um, as I mentioned, uh, can be 100% off for moderate income customers. Uh, you would need to provide proof of income or through low for low income customers through the CAP agency. Um, if you have a rental property, um, especially if you're a landlord, it can be up to 90% off for insulation. Or if you're a, a homeowner that's or renter that's earning more than 80% of median income, the insulation is still 75% off. So that's still substantial savings over going ahead and just doing this on your own. Um, if you rent, you can have this kind of work done, um, the weatherization or other things that change the building envelope if you have permission from your landlord. So it is necessary to work with your landlord if you're a renter. Um, if you don't want to work with your landlord, you know, maybe it's, it's a bit of a touchy um, relationship. You don't want to deal with it. You can always fill out the um, 
the online home energy assessment and get the energy savings kit and still shave off of your utility bill through these energy saving measures. Um, there's also equipment and appliance rebates uh, that includes um, heating and cooling. It includes heat pumps, central AC, and lighting and appliances. It's uh, quite a collection of different rebates for different appliances. Uh, we have on the EE Pittsfield site under the residential tab, we have a link to the guideline for all of the different uh, rebates that are available. And you can click on there and see exactly which models qualify if you're going for new appliances, for instance. And uh, there's also heat loans that you can qualify for that are 0% interest that can help cover costs of things like switching out your heating and cooling or, um, or getting heat pumps. Um, right now, um, if you're familiar with MassSave, uh, what you've done in the past is probably call them or take the online home energy assessment and schedule to have someone come to your house for an, a full assessment. But what they've done now because of COVID is they've come up with virtual home energy assessments. So it's a, a COVID safe alternative to having somebody come into your house. Uh, you start by filling out the online home energy assessment. That's at masssave.com slash OHEA. And you start off by talking with them and uh, by email or phone, uh, they'll ask you to send a few pictures like of the outside of the house and they'll set up a, a schedule for a virtual home energy assessment. Um, if you take the online home energy assessment and it doesn't automatically ask you to schedule, you can also call the 866-527-SAVE number and make sure you get one. And uh, what they have you do then is a guided tour of your home. And it's through the video chat uh, uh, format of your choice. So if you use FaceTime or Skype or Zoom or any of those, um, they can probably accommodate it. And they guide you through your home and say, can you go down in your basement and we will have a look at your furnace and we'll have a look at your hot water heater and your piping and um, how the insulation in your basement is. And they might have you go up into your attic to have a look at the insulation up there. Um, they have you go through the entire house and get a real close assessment of what you might need for energy efficiency upgrades. So uh, what you get for um, doing the, the virtual um, energy assessment is the energy savings kit. Uh, you actually qualify for that after you do the online home energy assessment. Uh, that gets you the light bulbs, power strips, low flow shower heads, aerators, and, and thermostats. And um, you'll find out if you qualify for 100% off insulation, if you need insulation. Um, you'll find out if you need um, targeted air sealing. And if you need any um, efficiency upgrades for your appliances, you'll find out um, whether or not you qualify for those. And there are rebates of up to uh, $2,750 available for replacing that. Uh, if you wanna recycle your old refrigerator or freezer, uh, there's a $75 uh, cash um, payment for that that you can, can get for recycling and you get the opportunity to apply for a heat loan for financing. Uh, the heat loan is um, up to $25,000 and terms of up to, I think it's seven years, yep, seven years. And um, it can be used for any of the equipment that you might need. It can be used for weatherization, so if you end up having costs for weatherization, you can use it for that. It can also be used for pre-weatherization barriers. Uh, those are when you run into things like finding out you have old knob and tube wiring. Um, because they use spray insulation, knob and tube wiring is very dangerous and it needs to be either disconnected if it's not live or replaced if it is live. Um, so that you know the house doesn't burn down when you get insulation over it. Um, if you have asbestos or improperly vented heating equipment, uh, those are all things that would need to be done before you can get energy efficiency upgrades. And again, the heat loan can be used for that as well. Um, there are incentives as well for barrier um, mitigation that um, 
and for um, attic preparation work. So there are incentives plus the availability of the heat loan to help you get your house up to speed so that you can get the efficiency upgrades that you want. Um, you might also qualify for funding from the Department of Energy. Um, there's a link here, it's uh, mass.gov slash service details slash barrier mitigation grants. So there are grants available if you need to, um, to have upgrades done. It's a bit of a, a road bump, but it, you know, a speed bump, but it gets you to eventually being able to go ahead with mass save upgrades after that. Uh, renters, if you live in a one to four unit building, you don't need your landlord's permission to take the online home energy assessment. And that qualifies you for the energy savings kit. That's the instant savings package. That's the light bulbs, thermostat, low flow shower heads. It's anything that doesn't change the building envelope. Um, if there are other things that you would like to have done, like upgrading your insulation, you can talk to your landlord and see if they would agree to having that kind of upgrade done. And the online home energy assessment will give you a, um, a report on what can be done to your building for, to help upgrade. And you can make sure to have that sent to them as well, sent to your landlord as well, so that you can work together. Um, it's really a great idea to upgrade. Um, if you're a landlord and you're not sure if you wanna do it, um, it really is a good idea because your tenants are going to be happier. They're gonna save more money on their utility bills, which makes it easier to pay rent. Um, so it, and there are special incentives for um, getting apartments done. So it really is worth having done. Um, if you can work with your landlord, um, it's a great idea to talk to them about it as well and see if the other units that they own want this done. And as I mentioned, if the majority of, um, of tenants are low income tenants, they all qualify for the income eligible, no cost incentives available through the CAP agencies. So it really is worth talking to your fellow tenants. And if you're a landlord, um, you know, think about having the buildings done because you may be able to qualify for quite a bit of upgrade. And a lot of people, uh, when we went out on the streets uh, going door to door last year, um, we started talking about these incentives and people were like, oh sure, how much is it really gonna cost me? You know, why is this free? Um, how does this work? And basically we've all paid for this. Um, there's a charge on your utility bills. It's called an energy efficiency charge. And there's a similar one on the gas bills as well. And that, money is all pooled to pay for these programs. So if you're worried about taking something for free, you're not, you're, you're reclaiming what you've already paid in um, every month on your utility bills. So the best way to start is to take the online home energy assessment. It's an online survey about your home, um, has a good amount of questions. It took me about 15 or 20 minutes at the most to fill out. And it gives you a report on how you're doing for energy efficiency and what recommendations they have. And again, that qualifies you for the, um, the instant savings kit. And that's at masssave.com slash OHEA for online home energy assessment. The small business program, um, I, I was talking with one of the reps from Berkshire Gas and she, she classified it this way, 80% of the businesses in Pittsfield qualify for small business. Um, it's again, anyone who uses 40,000 therms of gas or less, or 1.5 million, million kilowatts of energy, um, electricity per year. So um, this is, and, and it includes houses of worship, nonprofit offices, or small municipal offices. And it's a little bit different than the um, residential in that the incentives are partially um, attuned to what the business needs. So it's really worth it to get a, an assessment and find out what there is. Uh, they do have an instant savings package that's similar, that's LED bulbs, uh, air ins uh, insulation and air sealing. Um, oh, that's insulation isn't part of it. Um, 
but the advanced power strips and hot water savings measures are part of the, uh, the kit. And insulation and air sealing is uh, one of the things that they can work on as well. Um, the way to connect to the business program is to call 1-844-887-1400. And that's for Berkshire Gas or Eversource customers. So uh, again, the best way for homeowners or renters to engage is to take the online home energy assessment at massave.com slash OHEA. And if you're not prompted to set up a virtual home energy um, assessment, call 866 527 save. Uh, if you are a small business, call 844 887 1400, and they offer a virtual assessment for uh, businesses as well. So you can do the same thing. It's a video chat, and they walk you through your business. Uh, there are other items for businesses like um, uh, refrigeration controls, vending machine controls, lighting controls that are more specific. So it's really worth getting a virtual assessment so you can really get down to the nitty gritty of what your business needs. And uh, we're here to answer any questions. Um, eepittsfield.org is the website and my contact information is down below. It's also on the website under contact. Uh, my name is Rose. Um, my email is rose at thebeatnews.org and I'm happy to answer any questions anyone has. Um, there's also an uh, opportunity coming up to provide feedback on MassSafe's three-year efficiency plan. Uh, this is done by the Mass Energy Ad Efficiency Advisory Council and they have listening sessions right now. Um, they're planning for the uh, 2022 to 24 uh, efficiency plan. So if you can think of things you'd like to see in the MassSafe program that might not be there, or things that maybe you want to see changed, or things that you want to say, this is great, please keep it. Um, these public comment sessions are being held virtually, so it's through Zoom, and um, they're on November 17th, December 8th, and if you need to find more information on it, it's at this awful URL, which is ma-eeac.org slash planning resources. Um, I haven't put this up on the EE Pittsfield website, but I will tonight so that if you have questions on it, you can find it. And um, on that planning resources link, you can find what the uh, three-year efficiency plan is. So you can read it, see if you have any comments on it. So I'm happy to take any questions if there are any. Um, I, I have a question. Yes. Um, once somebody contacts you, currently, how long is the wait to have um, the, the inspection done and then the work done? I, you know, that varies somewhat. And I'm not a, a MassSave employee, um, so I'm not sure I can answer that directly. Um, it is a little bit quicker um, if you're a Berkshire Gas customer because CET is on the ground here in uh, in Pittsfield and they do the evaluations for Berkshire Gas customers. Um, I don't think it's very long at the moment because a lot of people have stayed away because of COVID, but I don't have an actual estimate of what the average is right now. Okay, another question. Yep. Um, if you're converting from oil to gas, is there any um, grant for that or is it just the loan? Uh, that is actually separate uh, from the MassSave program. Oh, okay. Yep, and you would need to talk to Berkshire Gas directly. Okay, so what are the energy loans for? The energy loans are if you're adding things like heat pumps, which is actually uh, quite advisable, um, no matter what your other heater is. Um, they run on electricity, but it's not like an electric resistance heater. They're very efficient, and it's a heat exchange. So it takes um, heat out of the cold air outside and dumps it into your house in the winter. And in the summer, it does the, the reverse. It takes the warm air 
and dumps it out to cool your house in the summer. And it can save quite a bit on fuel costs um, if used in conjunction with your regular heater, whether that's oil or gas. Um, so that's one of the things that a heat loan can cover is if you add heat pumps. And is there any credit for that or is it just loan for that? I think it's just loan. Okay. Yep. Now, if there was new construction being done, are there credits for any of that? That's a good question. I don't think so, but I would need to check in on that. that I've not been asked that one so far. <laughs> So and I'm always happy to get new questions because then I can get an answer to you. Uh, if you'd like to drop your email into the chat, um, I can get back to you on that. I can do that. I also uh, know you from Facebook, so I could probably catch up with you there. <laughs> there you go. Okay, great. And uh, one question that um, was asked before is, do condo owners qualify? And yes, um, you're a homeowner when you're a condo. Um, the question may be how many units there are to a condo complex and whether there's a central heating system. So if it's over four units, you might need to look into the multifamily program, but otherwise condo units qualify under residential. Hello, yeah. there you are. I'm here. So I was wondering if you could talk more about the appliance rebates. Yeah, um, I'm not up on a lot of details on them, but um, usually it's upgrading to a more efficient version of what you already have. So right. that so, might be a stove, you know, if it's a um, stove or a refrigerator, I believe it's for upgrading to a more efficient uh, model. Not buying a new one. Not like uh, not getting a freezer. Yeah, yeah, it would be for getting a new one. And then uh, there's also that recycling incentive. So you would, um, if you recycle the old one, you get the seventy-five dollars, and then the the loans uh, would cover the new one. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'd have, to, yeah. Where can I get more information on that? Uh, it's, I'm, it's on the Mass Save site. Um, I'll, I can check into that and see if I can pin exactly where, because the site is a little bit uh, dense. There's a lot of information there. I so would... <laughs> I'll put that in my notes to help you look for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, well, thank you both for uh, coming. Thanks everybody for coming and thank you both for asking questions. And um, I'll get back to you with answers on those. And uh, thank you Berkshire Museum for hosting this webinar. Our pleasure, thank you so much for, for leading it. And uh, don't forget, uh, this is part of the Earth Expo. So if you can go to the um, Berkshire Museum website and look for the Earth Expo, there are actions you can take and you can check that off and say, I've taken the action of getting an assessment or um, any of the other ones. There's, there's a whole bunch of them for all of the different um, um, programs that are going on because of the Earth Expo. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you. Good night.